Hey guys, oh, wow. I'm just thinking about my house and how gray it will look when there's a counter depth silver fridge here, you know? Um, anyways, welcome to another vlog. Today is exciting, today is Tuesday. So far, I woke up, devoed, did, edited the vlog, posted that, went on a run, came back, showered, got ready. I think that's it. It is 12.30, um, our friend Caleb is about to come over, Q is here. We're recording a boy advice um, podcast episode and we're making pizza for lunch, guys. So, very exciting, we have some pizza dough. I'll show you guys when we start that. I have a whole corner of my house right now that are just packages that I need to open. Um, hopefully, Caleb can mount my TV today in my office. That's like really high up on the priorities for me. Um, Q got me a Celsius drink, so I'm gonna drink this and hopefully just take on the world. I have a lot of filming to do today. Today is definitely like a work from home kind of day, um, and it's also a very big filming day, which makes it hard to vlog, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Dating to marry. Dating to marry. We're about to start recording. The boys just took seven years to eat, so. To eat? What? To eat. Hey. How to do, help you do any kind of trick shots? Like, I'll film for you. I'm, I'm, I'm done. Q, I, since I'm when are you into doing, doing trick shots? All right, everyone. We're doing a little boy advice segment for the vlog. We just recorded a hour, 15 minute long podcast <laughs> episode. That means it's gonna be an hour and a half at least. Yeah, 20 minutes of it was just me plugging myself, so. Caleb's single. We are on the lookout for his wife. You Caleb Nash theme, sir. Yeah, exactly. So, all platforms. it's really all about me because I just wanna be able to give a speech at the wedding and then make the wedding all about me. I told her she could have a speech if, if Six minutes. Somehow, I can sing, dance, do Somehow whatever. the person I marry is from her podcast, I don't know. It would be Which absolutely I'm, There's a strong Oof, You need a bath going We on. know. Her yeah. groomer's closed today. Good lord. I know, we've given her two in the past 12 hours. Well, she has. <laughs> Thank you for the, the credit. Okay, so we're gonna answer a few questions. By a few, I mean one. Um, <laughs> I know a girl messaged me like a really long DM, and so we're just gonna answer that one. Okay. Long story short, it was like, how do you keep your independence and keep growing while you're in a relationship? I think that... You know you don't need the mic. What? <laughs> Why are they still here? Also, too, we had to do this the entire podcast. Nope. No and if it dropped for a little bit, kids were like, get back. <laughs> I'm like a stage mom. Because the she audio, really like, she you have is. to talk straight like, I'll be, mic. I'll be you. You be me for a second. Go ahead. Pick the mic up and do you what you were like know. this. Literally, you know, straight up, he was like this. He was literally like this. Because I was speaking from the heart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was pretty funny, though. Thank I you. I appreciate that. that. Um, I would say that you have to maintain your individuality by maintaining your own that was a lot of pops <laughs> <laughs> it really was a lot so, you have to maintain your own individuality by maintaining your own friendships outside of the relationship it's great to have a couple friends it's great to be friends with his friends or her friends but you have to have an understanding of with each other that like you know if I'm dating Sally like hey Sally I'm gonna go hang out with the boys and not in a disrespectful way like you see in a lot of memes and that you see on TikTok or whatever like Saturdays for the boys yeah. or the boys come first that's not what I'm saying <laughs> yeah. I'm saying that like you need to have a healthy balance of being together and doing group activities couple activities couple friend activities and being yourself by hanging out with your friends and doing what you love on your own I was watching some show and, and uh, the wife really wanted to go golfing with him um, but what she didn't realize that golfing him golfing was his alone time, his time to grow and think and yeah. be with his friends and, and hang out. And then the fact that she wanted to go means they were together 24 um, seven. And I think it is healthy to be able to be apart from each other and then be able to come back together at the end of the day or the weekend. Like if you go to if me and Q were to go to like big bear for the weekend or something, can we do that? I'm so down. Let's do it. Okay. So if me and Q go hang out for the weekend, have fun guys. <laughs> we, yeah. If we go hang out for the weekend, there's a trust between them that they know he's not going to go do anything stupid or bad. We're just going to go hang out with the boys and like talk about basketball and soccer and God and, and do what we do because that's healthy. Ultimately, that's what's going to help their relationship together. Now, if, if, if they wanted to be together 24-7, which I've been in relationships where I, I was with the girl 24-7. Yeah. I didn't I didn't have that healthy balance of like going off and doing my own thing and the relationship didn't 
that's how the relationship went. So. Crash and burn. Yeah. That's why you're single. Uh, it just it didn't go well. So I think you definitely need to have the healthy balance of being together and then being yourself. If you have a hobby that you like to do on your own, continue to do it on your own. And if y'all love each other and trust each other, then he or she is going to understand that you need to do that on your own. So that that's just how I think you're going to continue to grow with with one another and 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 don't and please ladies please i'm speaking for all men here if you say it's okay for him to go do something do not be upset that he is okay with it men are pretty straightforward look if if i ask sally hey do you care if i go golfing and you say yes and then the next morning i'm getting my bag to go golfing and she's like Hmm, gonna go golfing now and I'm like don't guilt trip me because you said men need to have their time to do something and also don't be you know hitting them up the whole time they're doing something um it is only going to kind of like make their want and their need to be alone kind of stronger so they're going to want to go on more guys trips or whatever so if you give him that trust and that healthy like have a good time babe text me when you can I love that text me when you can love that that's and if you, if you do that, like, I guarantee, I guarantee, I'm going to take them for an example just because I'm sitting in between a couple. <laughs> if me and Q go to Big Bear and she says, text me when you can, Q when, is going to. When we go to Big Bear. When we go to Big Bear. Q is going to text her the minute we get there. He's going to text her before he goes to bed. He's going to call her before he goes to bed. But if Kenzie is constantly like, so what are y'all doing now? What's going on? Q is going to do this right here. I don't know if that's necessarily Q. He might. I like. He might I, actually, sure. I don't even think he <laughs> might answer, answer for sure. But a lot of men, if you if they feel pressed, are going to be more likely to hit you up later. But just give him his room to grow with his boys or grow by himself if he's doing his own thing. Like give him his room, and then I guarantee he's going to. If y'all love each other in, in a healthy, balanced relationship, he's gonna want to talk to you. He's gonna want to text you and call you and do all those other things. Yeah. So I think that is how you are going to grow individually. But if you continue to grow individually, y'all are only gonna grow together as well. Yeah, I agree. So, with that. Yeah, that was great. Thank you. I, yeah. Oh, hand clap. Thanks, that. guys. That's good. Like. Um, it's. Can you just read the full question one more time? Just to. Like, I just paraphrased. Oh yeah, just to keep your. Paraphr- how yeah. can you grow together and yeah. keep your individual? How, yeah, how are you growing as a as an individual? And it's going to be like your morning routine. The I first few minutes of my day. They're really a, important. Have a I'm secret like, bank account, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you stay independent. Oh god, yeah. it's a joke. It's a joke. He's kidding. We're, kidding. Cut, we're gonna cut that out. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Okay, okay. Can you? Just, but I think. There is in a relationship. I think it's important. There are going to be times when you're going to have to sacrifice some things, mm-hmm. and because if you're with somebody, they should be a priority to you. But I think there is a fine line between sacrificing and it's kind of brutal, but self annihilation. Just cutting out all the things that make you you, all yeah. the things that give you that spark in your eye that excites you, that 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 gets you out of bed and, get, and gives you like this eagerness about life. Mm-hmm. And there's been a couple times, even with Kenzie, I'm like, hey, like, I just, I know we've got a lot to do today, but I just, I just need, like, need an hour. Time. I just need Yeah, yeah. Time. Seriously, I'm like, that's some, like, of course, sometimes it's, like, inevitable, but, like, I try not to budge because if I'm taking care of myself and do things that I love, like, that's the Quentin that Kenzie fell in love with is the Quentin who's doing all these things. Those are the things that make me me. And yeah, so like, well, I like that. I like that because, so, because they, she fell in love with you for a reason. And then the second you stop doing those things, that interest is now like, mm-hmm. yeah, because I think it can be easy to say, I do love you. And I want to, you know, show you that. So I'm going to sacrifice all this stuff. But then it's like, you don't have that excitement about life. And then they're like, who is this person? This isn't the person that I, got into a relationship with or started dating or fell in love with or people say married so it's like i think it's important to like he said have time with the boys and like when kenzie's like oh girls night i'm like great so as soon as she says that i'm like hey be efficient hit up your boys like sometimes we do coordinate like that is annoying but i'll be like hey i'm hanging out with my friend this night you should go hang out with your friends or whatever this is pre-covid i think i think that's important because like if you don't like if you if, if She's, like if she's they, having a girl night girl and you're just, playing basketball. you're just staying, staying at the house. Yeah, you can't, you can't do it. Just like that wouldn't be Caleb. Who is that? Caleb Nash Feimster. Who is he? Yeah, no, who is him. that guy? What a scrub. You can find Caleb Nash Feimster on Instagram, okay. YouTube. He's looking sure. for a wife. Said it, be, okay, so guys, I'm not looking for a wife. I'm, I'm looking ready. Okay. I'm in a point of. <laughs> 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 I'm looking for your wife. 
I'm, I'm not like actually like, oh my gosh, I gotta find a wife. Well, what's I that, what's that show on Netflix? Life. Love, blind. Love is blind. Love is blind. Love is blind. Love is blind. Set him up. Yo, some people really want me to do on that show, but I'm at a point in my life where over the last year and a half, two years, I haven't been ready because I've been in such a season of right. grinding, growing, yeah. and building. I'm still in that season of grinding, growing, building, but I'm at a point now where I'm like, if it were to happen, You'd be I'm okay ready. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm not out here like, um, I'm you know, really overdoing it. I'm, I, it's me, it's not you. So, I've heard that one before. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Wait, so what was crying. the question? <laughs> What, do you want me to paraphrase for you again? I have Jeez. it. Don't worry. I think, I don't know. I just think that's a really quick way. If you don't have that, that's a really quick way for the relationship to be unhealthy. So it's like, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't really have anything to add that well, you guys said. said. It all, so I mean, yeah, you guys, you yeah. said it all. I think it's healthy to get somebody who's doing something. If, you, if you're for able sure. to text me all day, every day. Then, then it's kind of unattractive to me because I'm like, what do you, what do you, are what you, you actually doing? Yeah, yeah, you're not grinding your business. Like if stuff. if we were in LA and Kenzie would stop hot Pilates for me, like I, I don't know if that'd be weird. I'd be like, that's strange. Kenzie, her yeah. name is synonymous she with hot Pilates. It wasn't gonna happen. It wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, she'd give me up before hot Pilates. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> That lemon chicken? Maybe I'll just do some fat. Guys, I just made my pasta look not as cute anymore with the chicken, but it looks so good and it smells so good. Wow. Chef Boyarkins. Basically. So I just fried some garbanzo, garbanzo, garbanzo beans with olive oil and rosemary, and then I put some tomatoes in, just some pasta, really simple dinner, baked this chicken from Trader Joe's. Just incredible. I'm really just, wow. Okay, so I'm so sorry. I feel like today is in the worst vlog of vlog week. I'm gonna try to make it up to you guys, but I'm actually about to put on like a, I put on like a worship set or something. It really calms me down, you know? Um, but we have Bible study, or Zoom Bible study. The reason I do this thing where I drink a lot of caffeine that I'm so focused on filming and recording and whatever, and then I forget to eat until I'm like starving and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to go eat. And then I eat too late and it's just like this never anything. Oh, very exciting. Outdoor Voices sent me a new exercise score so I now have the red one. Oh, I also changed into just something to wear around the house. Um, this crew is from Dip Dye Supply. It's so freaking cute. First thing I got are these little cake pans because I'm gonna make these like three ingredient little chocolate paleo cakes. And then Instagram handle. I'm like really all over the place because I need to get on this call. But these, oh my gosh, no way. This. Okay, this ring is so cute. I know that Brooke wears their stuff all the time. Wait, oh my gosh, no, this is so dope. Wait, okay, I need to figure out which ring. Okay, eventually it will. <gasps> wow. When I get this on, I just don't have time. And then these really cute hoops, I have to go because it's playing. All right, guys, so obviously my face is a lot lighter than my body right now. Uh, but I got the tan at Sudicles, at CC at Color Correct face tanner and I really want to try it. My lips are also chapped, which is like the worst feeling ever. Really, I'm trying my best here, guys. I cannot stand chapped lips, it's the worst thing ever. Okay, one, I love the smell. Two, I love the consistency already. I hope this actually does a good job with the tanning because I'm already really into this product. Okay, now it's kind of stinging my face. Okay guys, I'm back because I wanted to show you. So basically, Anna started this. She's a first generation Mexican-American woman and she wanted to create something for herself and her family, which is so cute. So, beautiful ring that I'll be wearing every day. Oh yeah, Sav's here, guys. Um, and then gold hoops. Oh yeah, Bible study happened and now it's over. Okay, and then other, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these. They're like chain links. So if you guys use K, oh my gosh, if you guys use code Kinsey15, you'll get 15% off your order, but isn't that so cute? I know, it's gonna match I'm my gold, bracelet. I'm not a gold wearer, but like. Love. Okay, well, again, check them out. Kinsey15 for 15% off. <laughs> Sav and I, all we do literally is send each other tweets <laughs> and like TikToks and everything back and forth. Guys, it actually looks like I have the chicken pox um, with how many bug yeah, bites yeah. I have. They like, they're not looking too good. They're not. Like, my legs are like 
like what is this bruise oh my gosh remember that bruise that was really bad <gasps> yeah yeah that one's kind of cleared up so you know it is <laughs> what it is for you. you know if i don't have some sort of iron deficiency like not that i want that on myself i got a tie took got my blood drawn and everything the other day because there's something up with me um if i don't have something i'm even more concerned honestly because like <laughs> Some sort of explanation. Like, no, I need them to tell me. Just, you should just stay unknown. You know when you just like once a like this is like when I go to my therapist and she tells me that like I'm not doing something wrong. I'm like, okay, so like what is it? Like, <laughs> like, like clearly there's something going. I'm like, on. no, 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 no. Like there's something wrong with me. Like diagnose me. Like explain this to Please me. Please just give me diagnosis. And she's so like, I can go from there. Exactly. And like I here's my thing. Like I know what's wrong with me. So like I go to my therapist and I'm I tell her what's up. Aware. Yeah, exactly. And she just literally spends. Half my sessions to her telling me how self-aware I am, okay? No, literally, literally my cousin, he was like, Savannah, it scares me how self-aware you are because, like, you know your issues, but you still aren't doing anything. And I'm like, Yeah, see, hey. that's where the problem lies. It's it's really in that. So <laughs> I'm like, listen, so I know I need to do this, and I know I need to do that. But blah, 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 blah. Like, honestly, I mean, my therapist does really help me. She's great. Don't get me wrong. Love her. But, like, it was mainly because, like, I don't need to, like, bother my... The cake stuff has got to go. Cut one more thing and it end up being cake. And, like, I'm literally going to have an anxiety attack. Like, it, yeah, like, we're going to have to drive all the way there. But, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, really, really not That's good. I'm getting at. Gosh. I mean, we haven't done anything in months, really. So. No. I've only, like, a <laughs> see you. Me, literally. <laughs> yeah, so, like. Oh, it's really gonna be something, uh, but I'm anyways, sure go back to school. <laughs> when are you going back? I don't know. <laughs> do you really like? Are you really gonna do that? I don't have a choice. Got it. Yeah. yeah. I guys, also, I literally have like three classes left. <laughs> Tell me why, like, to get me to do a discussion po post at this point. <laughs> like, I'm like three classes away from my bachelor's. Oh my god, Jason, I totally agree with this post. Thanks so much. Loved what Lovely. you said about. Insert the first phrase you see in the discussion post. You know what I was thinking really about? Really different insight. Really yeah. Really opened my eyes. And then again, thanks so much. Great post, Jason. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what I was thinking about? Like, on my discussion post, I just, like, I don't even read their post when I respond to it. I mean, no. I do read it, but, like, not... Honestly, no, I don't I even read it. I, like, all of it. I skim it. I skim it. So, like, what if I'm agreeing with something that's, like, totally actually not okay? And, then, like, at all? Like, I actually am, like, worried. We should start, like, proofreading stuff. Exactly. But I also think that collectively as a society, we would just know that we all do that. Yeah, like, and everyone knows how the discussion post works. Yeah, exactly. They'd be like, oh, I didn't read it. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I know what they're getting at. I mean, I don't know what they would ever be able to say that I wouldn't agree with in, like, a business setting. Like, I mean, actually, no, there's a lot of things in a business <laughs> setting. <laughs> But it doesn't get like political or like it's always it's like yeah describe this term and then like explain this in a setting and like point like, out how would it's you not use this like term in a setting it would be controversial yeah basically Hopefully. but anyways I don't know guys discussion posts like maybe they'll come back to bite us and ruin our lives one day but uh, I hope not this could really not age well <laughs> <laughs> like, guys I'm just like can you tell I haven't like seen a friend <laughs> I still love I haven't seen Kinsey in almost three weeks yeah like i literally the longest we've gone <laughs> yes i literally haven't stopped talking like i'm like sam what's new okay so anyways this is what's up like <laughs> and now guys i literally have my legs are like on fire i want to clarify the discussion post thing um <laughs> <laughs> let's get back to that <laughs> back to that yeah now that i'm thinking about it nothing's controversial but like there oh you know what one time okay i will say one time i did get an argument with a um person in a discussion post oh. thing. It was an old lady, I guess. She was like going back to college to take tests mm -hmm. or like, I don't know, it was like really old. And she was just being really ignorant and like hateful. And I did get in an argument with her. So I did read that. In my um, like Bible courses, which I don't have really like many like just straight Bible, it's just like more sort of like yeah. infused, th infused. It's just like throughout the class. Yeah. Um, she was just old and like saying some pretty mean things. So I had to let her know what was up. I had to let her know how I felt. So I was the person that got an argument in my <laughs> discussion post thing. But it was truly for the greater good. Like, what if other people saw that and then that made them feel sad for themselves? So I had to... You had to stand up I had the, to stand up for what was right. People. Yeah, I had to stand up for my people. Yeah. Just all of them. Collectively the world, you know? So, anyways... <laughs> you have a voice. You have to use it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> guys, I'm like delusional at this point. Like, what's wrong with me? Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoy. We're gonna watch... Um, I don't know, something. Maybe we should watch a Simple Life. It's on Amazon. I think I'm on QZ Amazon on here. We'll figure it out. Okay, okay love you guys. Bye. Bye.